Konnichiwa Devios, Oculus Gamer here and welcome to my brand new Let's Play. This time we're playing a game called Ajang.com. It's a Korean game based on the anime by the same title. It's about a super baby who is fighting against viruses in the fusion of um, uh, like medical world and cyber world. It's an interesting concept, so let's go the new game. Uh, okay, so we go stage 1-1 one -one and we're straight thrown into an action. No explanation for the story or anything like that. So they didn't really explain anything what's happening, which is uh, weird considering the game was perfectly shown to be capable of uh, animating. Uh, because you, you saw the opening of the game. It uses the same theme song as uh, the anime, but the clips are different, so they could definitely animate stuff. And this was 2002, of course, so such games could exist. Heck, this this could even be in 3D if they really wanted to make it. So it's inexcusable not to include uh, like the synopsis of it, like explaining the story and stuff. I don't know. Well. I don't know, most of the games, maybe they tried to make it like an old school, but even most of the NES games had like a text at the beginning explaining some details, so something could have been done. I just call it lazy. Well, there is only one website where this is written on English, so I'm going to read the, the story for you guys, so you know what is happening. Uh, the characters who are we fighting against, although what we're fighting against that was pretty much shown on the opening and heck, we're even fighting those enemies right now. But oh well, let's see the story. So the spirit world, the real world and the internet cyber world maintain peace and harmony by the Dimension Stone, which was created by three deities uh, named Dragon King, Zeus and Zulu. One day, Doddery had a date, therefore he switched the stone guard duty with a super baby by bribing him with the milk. Ajang fights hard with Lupin and Pigu till the end, but in that process something goes wrong with the Dimension Stone and due to that unusual energy, Spirit World becomes chaotic. Many sprites, including uh, Lupin and Pigu, falls into cyberspace and uh, Ajang just manages to escape. That's pretty much the only thing written and the source of that is the website tvcanneled.rs so that's obviously not an English channel so that's why there are so many grammar mistakes. I wish someone like uh, did a proper review of this for my anime list.net so they had a better source but oh well it this is still something I guess we know the basics stuff you could probably recognize uh, in the opening uh, who are Lupin and uh, Pigu uh, by the way I pronounce his name Lupin because it's like written with a capital L and P so that's why I'm not saying it Lupin uh, I'm just guessing it's like something. I don't know how is I don't know how is his name uh, spelled on a uh, Korean. So yeah, I can only guess that you pronounce it with a Lu Pin because of how it was uh, translated on English. But then again, I don't know who was translating that uh, that text. Anyways, Pigu. That's uh, of course uh, a pig. It's, the name pretty much gives it away. Of course, it's not how we say pig on Korean, but rather how they would uh, pronounce the English word probably. You also saw him on the opening, and we just cleared the first stage. So, let's see, is this now gonna be the end? Oh, it's now stage 1-2. Well, I'm gonna beat all the uh, ones, all the dashes in the stage 1, if I can call it like that. So, then I'm gonna, and I'm gonna, like, this is going to be each stage uh, per part. So, yeah, we're continuing this. What I notice is that the music pretty much repeats itself a lot. Like uh, the the thing you're hearing in the background is uh, is pretty much um, the instrumental of the Ajang.com uh, team. Yeah, they didn't uh, compose like anything uh, 
original for the game, which is kind of lazy. Well, I don't know, then again, we need to remember that, uh, that the kids were the target for this uh, game and not uh, the hardcore gamers, because this was like a Saturday morning uh, anime on Korean television. It was also broadcasted in China, but I don't know. I prefer the Korean version, because, I don't know, I like the language better, I suppose. Then again, I can't. I, I would, but when it comes to finding the episodes, I would be happy to find it on Chinese as well. I don't, anything. I, I can't find it on the Korean at all. Maybe I would have luck uh, searching on uh, Chinese websites. Then again, I don't know how is the how is the uh, how is it spelled on Chinese. I tried with Google Translate, but it doesn't really help because they don't really understand what the word uh, ajang means. They when I they, they, when they translate it to English they translate it with like Asian which is not even a real word I believe so Google Translate is not something uh, I should be I should be like uh, trusting uh, with the help of finding the this uh, anime I will probably have the most luck if I contacted someone from uh, Korea or even China to get all the 13 episodes of it so I can like upload it on YouTube and uh, prevent it from getting lost forever. There should uh, the DVD. I don't know. I, I tried finding the DVDs of uh, Ajang and I can't really find any of them. I don't know does uh, do they even exist like was this popular enough to get the DVD? I know there were like merchandise uh, and plush toys uh, uh, when googling uh, on some Korean websites um, someone did a review of this uh, on Korean, like, not the game, but the series as a whole, and uh, they mentioned the uh, merchandise and the game, so, yeah, and they, like, uh, screen, make, put a screenshot of it, that's how I know, because I don't, I can't read Korean, so that's how I knew they exist, there were pictures of it, and we just beat another stage, so, let's see, is there gonna be one more yeah stage one dash three well we're not collecting the the power meter but we don't really need it because uh, it's already on maximum and it the thing that it does it gives you this uh, shogun armor with like the wings and uh, the sword like the wings on the cap which is nice, it uh, gives better attacks and it works better. The way you lose it is if you die, which I hope I won't, because then I have to collect all the powers again. Like, those are some power tickets, or I don't know. When he's in regular uh, phase, he's like uh, throwing them if you press the space button, so... I don't know, they probably have their proper name, but... Like I said, I don't remember stuff from this anime. I just remember there's some char there, there was like a character called Nymph, and there was a character called uh, Bu Ak. He was like uh, some flying, uh, some flying creature, the yellow one. You, you saw him on the opening, like the two little of uh, the the two little creatures, like fuse into big one, and then um, that creature helps Ajang and others. Uh, Fly. I don't know, there are also some human characters who go somewhere like uh, probably into this uh, cyber world they were talking about to help as well. I don't know. And the music just uh, changed. And it's a tree with the eyes, nose and chin. Let's see, this is a clearly a boss battle, reminds me of Kirby. Sorry, but it just does. So, let's see how this is going to turn out. So, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna spam the arrows at him and no, can't spam anymore. Now, I'm going to just go here, continue kicking him, go behind him, continue and this was really easy boss battle. Like I hope when you fight Lupin and Pigu, I'm gonna assume they're the final boss. I hope it's gonna be harder. Oh, the music changed. You recognize this? I uploaded uh, the ending theme of Ajang.com on uh, on YouTube in a separate video before this uh, part of Let's Play, and this was an instrumental. 
Now, I I like dying, but it's as stage clear because this is like the infinite bonus, I guess. And we're now at stage 2-1. And that's going to be for the next spot. So stay tuned, guys. We're going to play this. Hope you enjoy the part 1. Sayonara.